welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me on my very first video for the channel i hope you guys are going to enjoy what i have in store for you today please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video as much as you can and help me make some money okay so for those of you that are wondering why a youtube channel in the first place well for obvious reasons my love there's free money on youtube and the second reason is because I went on a self-discovery journey last year and I discovered quite a couple of things that I liked about myself that I didn't know I liked. Um, this channel is basically a platform where I can put out there what I learned the past year and um, hopefully inspire other people to go out there and just get out of their cocoons and learn a new, new skill, you know things new things channel. my channel doesn't really have a niche so I'll be doing anything from makeup lifestyle weight loss so as you can tell from the title today's video is all about makeup 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 for the ladies um disclaimer i'm not a makeup artist i'm not a professional makeup artist i'm just an amateur guys i just recently started learning how to do makeup a few months ago so um if you are a professional makeup artist and you see some stuff that you wouldn't normally do on your face when you do makeup or on other people's faces and you've got some suggestions for me i'm open to that just drop them in the comment section below so today's video is going to be on a voiceover for obvious reasons i cannot speak and do makeup at the same time it's gonna take 15 years okay so I'm going to be fast forwarding the video a couple of times but I won't obviously miss out the parts where I mentioned the products that I used and that's just going to be clear and out there for you guys so if you guys have any questions for me about today's video you can put your question down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer you as soon as I can I really hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe again thank you for watching bye bye Thank you. Hi guys, thank you once again for joining me on my very first video. So we are going to start off this makeup tutorial on a fresh face, um, nice and clean with some moisturizer that you use daily. And then we are just gonna go in with a primer. So you can use any primer that you prefer. The one that I'm going to use for this video is from Catrice Cosmetics. Um, it is a pore refining and anti-shine base. So you can use any primer that you prefer. Um, so we are just going to apply that on our face and make sure we cover up our whole face with the primer. Then next we are going to take our spoolie. Um, so this is just a basic spoolie. I got them um, from Clix. They were 30 something rand if I'm not mistaken. They came in a pack of five. So you are just going to brush out your eyebrows. And then you are going to put on some eyebrow pencil. Um, this eyebrow pencil is from Essence. And it's long lasting eye pencil. Um, it's in the color hot chocolate. So after that you are going to take your eyebrow pencil and outline your eyebrows to the type of shape that you want to achieve for this look and then after you're gonna proceed and um, fill in the spots um, where it um, is visible that you don't have um, enough hair and then you're just gonna take your spoolie again and brush that out and blend it in so that it doesn't have those harsh lines that look like you know your eyebrows are drawn on Then we are going to go in with our concealer. This one is from Wet n Wild and in the color medium or D10. Um, I bought this at um, Discam if I'm not mistaken. And then we are going to mix it up with another concealer. This one is from NYX. The name is Born to Glow and it is in the color Mahogany. So the whole purpose for me for mixing up the two colors together is because I've never really come across a color that works well with my skin tone. So now we are just going to go with our brush, one of our brushes from our mix box set. We are going to mix those two colors together and we'll apply them under our eyebrows just now just to outline them and make them stand out. Do you know, you know what I'm saying? So 
so just remember to be steady with your hand when you do this on your eyebrows because you can go from here to zero in a second okay so don't worry if it's looking a mess right now we are going to blend that out with this wedged sponge that i got from clicks they also came in a pack of 15 if i'm not mistaken and they were under 50 bucks so we are going to go in with the sponge and blend that concealer out so that it blends in properly with our skin so if you've been noticing i've been licking my lips for quite some time now that's because my lips are dry so we are just gonna go in with my strawberry lip butter from the butter shop and we are going to butter up those lips okay next we are going to go in with one of our brushes from our mix box set i bought the set off of take a lot and it has 24 different brushes inside for all your makeup needs and then we are just gonna grab our um color palette and this color palette i bought from a china cash and carry in Woodbank. it has 52 shades inside and then we're gonna take our brush and uh, use it on the color named first base um so uh we're gonna take that color and apply it on our eyelids the reason why i didn't use concealer on my eyelids was because i didn't want the color to pop a lot i wanted something that is gonna look a bit more natural and then next we went into our color named trimmed so we're gonna take that um it's a dark darkish pink color and we are just going to um pack that on our eyelids okay just pack it pack it nicely So if you're wondering why I'm not putting the color on the other half of my eyelid, well, this is a um, technique that I saw on TikTok that I wanted to try on myself. Um, so what you do is you're supposed to put um, only the eyeshadow on half of your eyelid and then um, it gives it a sort of natural look, they said. But then, yeah, I'm trying it out. So here we go. So I'm just going to apply that shade on the bottom of my eye. And now what I'm going to do is mix two different types of makeup foundations and then along with this LA Girl Luminous Glow Skin Illuminator. So what I have here is a Revolution um, Matte Base in the color F13. I'm going to mix it up with a MAC um, in a color NW48. The reason why my makeup oxidized was because I left it in the car in the sun for long. So I'm guessing that's what happened. So the reason why we are using this luminous um, skin um, glow is because um, it adds a bit of uh, like glitter to your makeup. It makes it look much more nicer. Other people uh, prefer applying it directly on the skin after their primer, but um, this is a sort of my way or what I found um, to work well for my skin. So it may seem like I'm using too much foundation on my face, but that's just how I like to do my makeup because I have really bad skin. So I like a really full coverage when I'm doing my makeup. Um, and so that's why you see me packing on the makeup like that. The brush that I'm using to apply my foundation is called BYS Foundation Brush. I bought this brush off of Take A Lot and I cannot remember how much it cost me. And sorry guys, I want to apologize for using dirty brushes for this tutorial. It completely skipped my mind. So now I'm going to apply concealer on my under eyes. And this time around, I'm not going to be mixing the two colors together. I'm just going to go in with my Wet n Wild under my eyes um, and create lines that look like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the concealer on the rest of my face on a part of my face where I want to create a contour so I'm just gonna draw lines like that on the rest of my face
I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer on my face in the color mahogany just to help create the darker version of the contour. I know I probably look like Tarzan's wife right now, but just hold on, it's gonna change in a sec. Now I'm going to take this wedged brush and start blending in the concealer into my skin, um, starting with the lighter shade of the concealer. Now it's starting to look like we are going somewhere with this look and I am excited as you can tell. What I'm going to be doing now is baking and I'm going to use this baking powder from Revolution in the color Banana Deep. So what I'm doing now is pouring out the powder into the cap of the bottle. Um, I found this easier for me to do than having to pour the powder directly onto the sponge. So I'm just going to go in on my skin with the powder and just pat it on like that. As you can see, I'm applying the powder on the sections of my face where I had applied the lighter shade of concealer. The reason why this is done is to help the concealer set into the skin. Here's a tip for you guys, if you are going to be packing on the baking powder like I did on your face and putting the amount of contents that I did, um, I suggest that you don't leave it on for too long because then it creates a cakey look on your face and that is what I got on this video. I left the baking powder on for too long and then it left me with a light and um, powdery look on my face. Just a disclaimer once again guys, I'm still learning how to do makeup, so if you see anything wrong, please don't murder me. So I got makeup on my hair mistakenly, that's why I'm looking so unimpressed. So now I'm going to be taking this brush from Real Techniques Brushes. Um, it is in the name Instapop Face Brush and I'm just going to be dusting off the powder that is on my face. So there it is guys, the dusty look, the cakey look on my face, um, just on the side of my face I realized that I had left it on for too long so that's why I didn't want to blend in and look proper. As you can see I am holding a mirror on my other hand. Um, the reason why I do this is because it's easier for me to um, blend in my makeup when I'm looking at a mirror than when I'm looking at um, a screen. 
what I'm going to be using now is a liquid ink eyeliner from Essence um, I'm going to be drawing it on um, the top of my eyelashes um, I saw this method on a TikTok and I wanted to try it out on myself um, it's gonna look weird for you guys that know how to do makeup um, it was weird for me but um, why not try something new The lashes that I'm going to be using for this tutorial are from Lash Addict Lashes and they're in the style Slay. I bought this lashes at Clix for around 235. I'm also going to be using this Peel Off Glue Lash from Essence. I bought this for less than 50 Rand if I'm not mistaken. So the tutorial that I saw on TikTok for the lashes um, had said to apply the lash on um, the line that you drew on your skin so um, that would create a cat-like eye look so that's what I was trying there and um, to tell you the truth it doesn't look bad on camera but I wouldn't suggest it for um, like going out. So so what I'm doing now is taking the liquid liner and just um, filling in the spots that are visible under the eyelashes so that it looks much more um, in sync or the same or realistic. Let me tell you, so it was at this point that I realized that I look like a clown. Now I'm going to be using this highlighter from Revolution in the name Time to Shine and I'm going to be using that brush to apply it to my nose and my cheeks. So the setting spray that I'm going to be using is from Maybelline, it is called Lasting Fix. I'm going to be spraying that on my face and then allowing it to dry and the reason why we use setting spray is to help the makeup set and look a bit more nicer. I'm not putting any color on my lips, I prefer having my natural lip color with uh, some lip gloss. So the lip gloss that I'm using now is from Essence, um, it is called Wet Look. I bought it at Clicks, so you can go get it for yourself. So that's it for today. That's how I achieved this look. Thank you so much once again for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have yourselves a fabulous day. Thank you. Bye.